Hi, I'm Sue Palka, and I'm a TV meteorologist in Washington, D.C., and I'm also Anastasia's grandma. Hi, Grandma! Hi, Anastasia! What meteorologist? Oh, what a good question. So a meteorologist is somebody that studies the weather patterns. And for my job, I tell people the weather story for the next day. That's called a forecast. Basically, it's a prediction of the future weather. Who has the more friends questions? Oh, I'd love to answer your friends' questions, Anastasia. Hi, I'm Jet. Yeah, I'm free. How do you know the weather? Oh, Jet, that is such a good question. Every day when I come into work, I sit down at my computer and I start looking at information such as the temperature in various locations for my area, the uh, clouds, the radar. Not just that, Jet, but I also look at information that is gathered from big weather balloons that get sent up into the sky twice a day by the National Weather Service all over the country. And all of that information gets gathered from high up in the sky send into a computer and we can look at it and make a prediction of what is going to happen based on all the information we gathered, not just here on the ground, but from high in the sky. Hi, I'm Harper, I'm three and a half. Why does it rain? That is a great question, Harper. Well, let me tell you where rain comes from. Rain comes from clouds, but where do the clouds come from? Well, warm air rises and as it rises, it collects little bits of moisture and eventually those little tiny bits of moisture start to push together and make bigger drops. And the cloud that you see in the sky that might have been white before, it starts getting really dark because it's full of all that water. And eventually all the little drops become big drops and they get heavy and they fall out of the cloud and that becomes rain. And how do you make thunder? And why is it so loud? Oh, those are good twin questions. And a lot of people like to know the answers to that. So let me talk about what thunder is first and foremost. Thunder is caused by lightning. Lightning is the really bright flash you see that comes out of a really huge storm, the one that makes all the noise. Well, guess what? The thunder is caused by the lightning making a hole in the air. And as it comes out of the cloud, it makes this hole in the air. Then the lightning hits the ground and the air closes up really fast, making a big sound wave. And that's what we hear as thunder. Hi, I'm knocking and I'm full. How much wind is in the tornado? Ooh, tornadoes have a lot of wind in them. In fact, they can be anywhere from 65 miles an hour to 300 miles an hour. But you know what? We can't even measure the wind in a tornado because it's that strong, it would break the instrument that measures it. So we can tell how strong the wind was in a tornado by looking at the damage that it did. It, did it knock down a tree? Did it damage a house? But the good news is you don't need to be scared of that because if we think a storm is gonna create a tornado and create that big wind, uh, we have a very good system of letting you know that a storm that is capable of that is coming to your house. And sometimes mom and dad might even get a message on their phone about a warning for a tornado. And that means you get in the house and you stay safe from it. Um, hi, my name is Rumi and I'm four years old. Can I be a weather person? Oh, absolutely you can, Rumi. And you know what? Here's what I would suggest you do. Start being a good observer of the weather. And if, that's a big word. Observing means to look. And if you look at the sky and you can see that it's blue, you know it's going to be a sunny day. Uh, pay attention to that. Maybe you can pay attention to the types of clouds that are in the sky because they do different things. High, thin clouds can mean one thing. Puffy, dark clouds can mean something else. You can get a wind sock to see what the wind is doing at your house. And the direction that the wind comes from sometimes brings different weather. And as you get older, uh, you can get books and videos and learn more about the weather. And even go to college, you can major in meteorology, which is the study of weather. It's a great thing to do. Yes, you can absolutely be a weather person, but even if that's not what you want to do, it's really fun to pay attention to the weather and have a feeling that you can predict what's going to happen just by looking and being a good observer. Yes, Grandma. I've learned a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Anastasia. I love you. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Anastasia.